What's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teagan Raleigh. Today I've got a good one for you. Today I'm reviewing the 2019 Toyota Tacoma Double Cab Limited 4x4 V6. Let's check this thing out. The Tacoma, it's already one of the most reliable, dependable vehicles on the planet. It's got the highest resale value of any car, truck, or SUV being sold out there right now. So now imagine if you load it up with all those options and features on the Limited. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! The Limited front end, to quote the Crocodile Hunter, she's a real beaut. Now it's got a polished silver grill with a chrome outline, projector beam headlights with LED daytime running lights, fog lights, projector fog lights. Then it's got a color keyed bumper. And then Toyota Safety Sense, the radar cruise control and pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. And then camera here for lane departure alert and also automatic high beams. It switches from high to low, boom. Profile of the Limited. This is one tough looking truck, or it's better than Marcellus Wallace in Pulp Fiction, but it's also a beautiful truck. Let's get a close up view of a lot of things along the profile. Let's get a little closer. Check out these wheels. Everyone cares about wheel size and appearance. These are 18 inch polished black and chrome alloy rims. You can see them at the back end now, how they look. The Predator Pro step bars, those are optional. They were added at the factory, but you can ask us to add them at our dealership. We do that all the time. Everyone likes step bars. Actually, let's talk about ground clearance. That's 9.4 inches. You might need to know that if you're going through heavy brush or sticks or anything like that. Chrome side view mirrors with the turn signal indicator in it. It does have blind spot monitor right there in the side. These are chrome and color key door handles with the smart key so you can just put your hand on it and automatically open it. You can also lock it just by doing that. Boom, baby limited the gas tank size it's 21.1 gallons the brakes just so you know they're front disc and rear drum brakes that's a beauty engine performance the engine it's a 3.5 liter v6 engine atkinson cycle engine with dual variable valve timing with intelligence delivers less parts and more efficiency it delivers 278 horsepower 265 foot pounds of torque it's a six speed automatic transmission. For the suspension, it's coil spring, double wishbone front suspension, and then the leaf, leaf spring rear suspension. Boy, that's hard to say. It's one tough truck and it rides smooth, but it also gives you great toughness. And I did bring along the window sticker so you can see fuel mileage. It's 18 in the city, 22 in the highway, averages to 20. For pricing, it has some options on it. It's got the Predator step bars, all weather floor mats, that's optional. You'll see those inside. Paint protection along the hood and the door and also two USB ports in the back and cable charging package. Price on this baby is $43,385 for a retail sticker prize. The back of the truck's pretty distinct. Backup camera, tow hitch standard, four and seven pin connectors. The tow capacity on this is 6,400 pounds. Color keyed rear bumper with black step up accents. Then we've got rear parking sonars here. The sensors all along the back. So as you get close to something, it'll let you know you're getting closer. Beep, 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 that type of a thing. Back tailgate, slowly lowering. It's also removable. And then it's made of a composite material here so that you don't scratch it all up when you're loading cargo. And deck rail system here, you can put the bed cleats in and they hold up to a couple hundred pounds each so that you can tie things down and really fix it in so it's not gonna roll. Yeah. Then we've got a grounded outlet back here. Come on, playa. Storage for bottles, rope, whatever you want it for. And that's almost the back. I will show you these hooks right here that you can tie down. So you can tie down, you can bungee it, you can rope it all the way up in the four corners. So nothing gonna roll. Ain't nothing gonna roll. I like to show rear seating space with two different settings. One with the seat a little bit forward in the front and one with it closer to all the way back so you can see how much or how little legroom you're gonna get. There's actually quite a bit of legroom here with the front seat up a little bit. Now if it's back, you're gonna be a little bit more limited and that's one of the comments that I get for feedback. People wish there was a little bit more legroom in the back. It is what it is right now. So we're kind of right at the edge of the seat right here. 
I do want to show you how you can take the seats down here to give you more cargo space. So the first thing you have to do is take the headrests off. That's the first piece of advice I can give you. Now, pull on the strap, lift this sucker up. Same thing on this side here. Pull that strap. So now we've got sleeping area. You can sleep here to your heart's content as long as the doors are open. But anyway, it gives you extra cargo room. There are secret pockets back here that you can use to put some gear, things like that, your pet emu, that kind of stuff. Seating material. These are legitimate leather seats. It's not soft tex. Have a little pattern to them. Then a seat pocket right here for books and iPads and stuff like that. It's not on the driver's side. This is an optional two USB ports in the back. Also optional is our all weather mats. Normally they come with carpeted mats. That's the standard, but this one has all weather. Actually a lot of trucks do. So there's our back seat space. Front seating, heated leather seat. Does not have a power driver seat or a passenger power seat. The knob is for lumbar support, so that roller does come out to give you a little bit more or a little bit less back support. I'm going to go through the buttons and controls a little bit quicker than normal. A lot of you know these controls already. Mirror adjustment, window adjustment. These two front ones are automatic. This is the spotlight on the back. This gives power to the back of the car. Automatic headlights or automatic high beams on and off. Let's see. Let's show the center console here a little bit of space in here it also has two usb ports there cup holder and phone holder shift lever of course more cup holders it has a lot of cup and bottle holders in it this is the wireless charging and here's the button for the chi wireless charging to get it to work without any additional hardware you do have to have one of the newer phones but with older phones you can go to amazon.com and buy something I do want to show you the glove box space. There's quite a bit of space in here. These are all the books that you get when you buy a Tacoma. And then we've got the 12 volt circular port here, Qi wireless charging button, USB and iPod. This is for the rear window. Parking sonar on and off. This is blind spot monitor on and off. This button here, this is an interesting one, electronically controlled transmission power. What it does is it adjusts the shift points so that you can reach higher RPMs in certain situations. It gives you a burst of power, like if you're towing, climbing a steep hill, merging onto a highway, or maybe passing somebody on a two-way uh, highway, that type of a thing. When you push it, the ECT power button comes on. The multimedia system, it's Toyota's premium sound JBL speakers here, which gives you concert-like experience while you're driving. So you feel like you're actually at the concert, the symphony, the game, JBL in the house. By the way, FYI, that stands for James B. Lansing, creator of the company. So the touchscreen, seven inch, really easy to use, very little distractions, GPS navigation. It also gives you access to Toyota's Entune suite, iHeartRadio, Pandora, fuel prices, can give you traffic incidents so you can see what's going on nearby. It even shows right here we've got stopped or slowed very much traffic. If we want to detail, it's going very slow. That's considered stop and go. And then you've also got access to touchscreen radio, Sirius XM. You can adjust your sound this way, forward and backward. It's a great sound system. It really is. As for how it drives, I think that's the best part. I got the idea for this video because my customer came in and bought a Tacoma, had never been in one before, never sat in one, never driven one for sure. And he said he could not believe how smooth it was, how quiet it was at its top speeds, and it had great handling. So he was sold after that test drive. So I wanna show you guys what this is all about. Listen to how it sounds when it revs up. I like the multi-information display because it's really evolved. It's got good graphics on it, very crystal clear information. I'll just go through some of it here. This is interesting. If you have lane departure on and you go outside of your lane too much, the car thinks you might be sleepy or distracted and it may be time for a rest, yo. 
the compass, which way you're going, radio, what you're listening to, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, if you need maintenance soon or have low tire pressure, and this you can adjust your safety settings like lane departure alert, PCS, pre-collision system, that kind of stuff. People always ask about the zero to 60, so might as well try that out. It's strong. Tacoma's deceptive. You don't know it has a lot of power, how tough it is until you go to accelerate. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very good acceleration. I choose this road a lot, Ebenezer Church Road. It's great for its curves and its privacy. There aren't a lot of cars around, so my test drivers can actually get a good evaluation of how it handles, how it corners, how it can accelerate. This is a really difficult curve here which a lot of my test drivers misjudge. Let's see how Tacoma does on it. Yeah, see that hugs the corners really well. The truck has just a little bit of bounce to it, but it's not anything that would be distracting. It rides very comfortably, and I do like how high it sits. I feel like I can see above all the other traffic. Yeah, it's a smooth ride, and I'm at 53 and it's a very quiet vehicle. I don't think I'd have to worry about road noise as being something that would, you know, stick up as like a yellow flag or a red flag for me. I'm gonna sound like a North Carolinian here. I'm gonna give y'all a test of how it accelerates going up a bigger hill. I think it'll do just fine going in the mountains and the hills. If you have a little bit of rain or anything like that, acceleration will not be an issue at all. What a cool subdivision this is, by the way. And now we'll test out the turn circle. Yeah, that turns really tight. It's great for if you have to do a U-turn, pull into a tight spot high-speed chases, that kind of stuff. Do any stunt driving. What a view. Can you imagine living in this subdivision? Your view outside your back deck or your front deck is the tree line. That is beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. <laughs> so what did you think of the Tacoma Limited? Let me know in the comments section. If you're in the North Carolina area, please ask to work with me, Jeff Teague, when you're looking for your new Toyota. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. I really appreciate your support. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time.